Welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to display labels on specific bars on hover using set actions in Tableau. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that shows sales done in case of different subcategories. You will notice that I haven't displayed the labels for all the bars to make a clean looking bar chart. The labels will be displayed only when we hover on the specific bar and the color of the bar will also be different as compared to the other bars. Suppose I want to see the sales done in case of appliances then just hover on this bar. The sales and the category to which it belongs will be displayed as label. Just to add if you want to know how to create these rounded bar chart in Tableau then you can see the link of that video in the top right corner and I have also added the link of that video in the description below. Now let's jump to Tableau and see how to display labels on the specific bars on hover. Here we have a rounded bar chart that shows sales in case of different subcategories. Now to display labels on specific bars using set action we will first create a set using the subcategory dimension that we have added in the view. So go to subcategory click on the drop down then go to create click on set then select any one subcategory here let's select appliances click on ok now we will create a calculated field using this subcategory set that will help display sales label so click on the drop down click on create calculated field Let's name it sales label and here write down the formula if subcategory set then we want Tableau to give us sales else null end. So this calculation will help us to display the label only for the selected subcategory click on OK. Now drag this calculated field that we have created to label. We want to display label at the start of the bar. Currently you will observe that we are seeing the labels on both the ends of the bar. So go to label. From here select line ends and uncheck label end of line. I have already created a detailed video where I have explained how to create a rounded bar chart. So you will find the link of that video in the description below. Now let's edit the format of this label to show sales in terms of dollars. So right click click on format then make sure pane is selected go to numbers currency custom we don't want to show any decimal places. Uh, prefix will be dollar sign and we want display units in terms of thousands. Click anywhere outside. Let's also edit the font style. So go to label then here click on this font drop down. Click on match mark color. Click on bold. Let's increase the font size. Select 10. Now the color of this label will match the color of this bar as we have clicked on uh, match mark color. Click anywhere outside. Currently the label is only visible for appliances subcategory because while creating the subcategory set we had clicked on appliances. 
now to display label on this specific bar when we hover on that bar we will create a set action so let's create a new dashboard add this sheet to the dashboard now go to dashboard click on actions we will add a set action so click on change set values let's name it sales label source sheet will be the sheet one that we have created target set will be the subcategory set clearing the selection will keep set values run action on hover click on okay click on okay again now suppose we want to see the sales label in case of machine subcategory then just hover on this bar and you will see the sales label now let's see what was the sales done in case of paper subcategory so now you will observe that we are getting the sales label for the paper subcategory next if you also want to show the category to which this paper subcategory belongs then we can create another calculated field go back to this sheet then just duplicate this sales label calculated field click on edit let's name it category label and the formula will be if subcategory set then category i want a pipe separator between the category and sales so here we will add a pipe separator plus then within inverted commas a pipe sign click on okay now drag this calculated field also to label now let's edit the label go to label then click on this three dot i want the category label to come first then the sales label let's decrease the font size to 9 click on okay now go back to the dashboard so here you will see that the binder subcategory belongs to the office supplies category and this is the sales done in case of binder subcategory uh, lastly if you also want to show this bar with a different color when we hover on a particular bar then we will create one more calculated field uh, just duplicate this category label click on edit and let's name it color and the formula will be if subcategory set then yes we can write anything here else no click on okay now drag this color calculated field to color go back to the dashboard now suppose we want to see the sales in case of accessory subcategory then just hover on this bar and you will observe that now the color of this bar is different as compared to the other bars so in this way you can display label and give different color to the specific bar on hover using set action you will see that we can't see the label completely here
to solve this problem we can edit the axis right click click on edit axis click on fixed and here we will have to change this end value let me increase the value to 400 thousand let's do it 44 close this edit access window now you will see that the labels are completely visible for the top bars so in this way you can edit the axis according to your requirement this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial